So this is method 11, the two coat plaster. This is an extremely fast, productive finish. If you're familiar with a hock and trowel, or even if you're just starting out with one, it's not that hard to accomplish. And it's just two steps and you're done. Okay, for this method, I'm gonna just need a hock and trowel, full effects plaster text, full effects Venetian gym clear gloss coat, and full effects faux color Van Dyke brown. Okay, for the first step of this method, we're just gonna trowel a coat of plaster text by faux effects or aqua solutions onto the surface of my panel. And so you're just gonna need your plaster text untinted, uh, just a scoop for it, a trowel, and a hock. And then we'll go ahead and lay that in. All right. Okay, so I've got what's gonna be my wall surface here. And um, since I'm right-handed, I'm always gonna start on the left and work to the right. So I go up in my corner, and I'm just gonna trowel a coat of this stuff on. I wanna go full coverage and have a nice random organic movement, so I don't wanna like repetitively be doing the same stroke. I'm gonna come in different angles and just vary the thickness a little bit. But you definitely want 100% coat coverage because this is a two-step finish. And if you skimp on this one and you have anything reading through any holidays, it's going to affect your finish. Okay, so on the plaster text for my first coat, it uh, turns out I got about roughly about 70, 75 square feet a gallon for the first coat. Okay, so my plaster text all dried up, so now what I'm gonna do is just knock down some of the high ridges with a 220 grit sandpaper. Okay, for the next step, what I'm gonna use is Faux FX Venetian Gem Clear Gloss Coat and Faux FX Van Dyke Brown Faux Color and I'm gonna create a mixture of 12 ounces of my clear gloss coat to one teaspoon of my Van Dyke Brown. So I'm gonna get that mixed up and we'll set up the trowel. All right, so I got my plaster mixed up. It's not really a plaster, it's almost like a, like a gel resin. It's really translucent, dries gloss. And so I just put a little bit of color in there and it's just gonna give it kind of this nice overcast like kind of color when I skim trowel it over my surface. So when I trowel it, I need to kind of pay attention to how I'm working the space because you got to keep that entire line moving while you're troweling, otherwise you're going to get a hard line. Okay, so you can see how I have to get 100% coverage, otherwise this white background is going to pop right through. It's going to look funny. So you want to make sure you hit everything thoroughly. And what you do is just, I'm going to throw it on and then skim it off and see how this color gets caught in all these like crevices and stuff I built for my DNA coat and just gives me a nice clean trout finish. Okay, so you can see, that, like for a two-step finish, it creates a really beautiful, dramatic, like end result. And you can see how, like, all the texture I created on that first plaster text coat is where that clear gloss coat gets caught in there, and it's a little thicker, and that's why you get this kind of colorful ridging, and that's what creates the movement. And that's why you want to be real careful when you're trying that first coat not to do a bunch of rainbows, and you want to keep like a really random movement so that you get this nice fluid finish. Okay, for this finish with this product, the clear gloss coat, I'm getting about 350 square feet a gallon. That concludes this method. We hope you've enjoyed it. For information regarding the products used or alternative products and how they can be purchased, visit the resource section of the method website. For any questions or comments regarding the method you've just watched, Visit the online method support forum and locate the thread related to this video.